All right. So in the last few slides, in the last 20 minutes or so, we looked at how to create a database. We discussed what is a database, you know, what all data can go into a database, how do you organize the data in the form of tables. We also looked at some basic installation about your, you know, for your work environment. And we also looked at some very simple queries, like, you know, how to query the data from a particular table, how to create a table, how to create a database, um, you know, how to insert some data and so on and so forth. Going forward, what we'll do is we will actually take a deep dive into querying. We'll look at various syntax, right? We'll look at aggregation, how to query a single table, how to conditionally query a single table, how to join multiple tables and so on and so forth. We'll start with again, very simple stuff. We'll keep on adding information and I will be taking a little bit different approach from here onwards. What we'll do is instead of me going through a syntax and then showing you, let's let's take a good database like a you know which which has certain number of tables and data, and let's just discuss some problem statements. Something like, give me all the employees who were hired after so and so date, and let's see how can we create a query for them. So it will kind of give you a real world aspect of when questions are asked, how do you go about approaching those kind of problems. So what we'll do is Microsoft provides some sample databases. We're going to go ahead and install that. The reason being we don't have to create data that that's pretty much, you know, a good list of tables, good list of data. It's something really, you know, something like a real world data. Uh, they call it the Adventure Works database. It's it's actually a very simple installation. Um, you know, we just download it and then just uh, attach the databases into our database engine, and then we can start querying it. I'll I'll precisely show you how to do that. It's a very simple procedure, and then we'll look at certain things like querying a single table. Then we'll look at some conditional querying, and then we'll look at some where clauses and so on and so forth. So, let's go ahead. All right, so what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to just um, Google AdventureWorks, and let's see. Okay, so here are some product samples. It is provided by msftdbprodsamples.coreplex.com. Let's go ahead and see what all it provides. Okay, let's go ahead and download this and let's see so we are using a 2014 version so 2012 should be compatible let's go ahead and save this and i already have this saved um, but let's see let's just call this as underscore one and then let's save this it's it's a small file it's about 36 mb i believe uh, let's see yeah around 36 mb and um, it up so let's let's download that and in parallel i'll also open my management studio okay and let me connect to my database and again you'll find the two databases that we created in our previous session now this has downloaded so i'm going to go ahead and just unzip this here and once I unzip this, you should find two tables. The MDF file is your actual database file. LDF file is where it stores logs. So don't worry too much about it right now. And we will just go ahead and use this. Let me just go ahead and put this into a different folder. And all right. So I am going to use this path and let me go ahead and right click on databases and say attach once i click on attach it's going to ask me my mdf file location and i'm going to just input my mdf file location okay so let's say okay and it'll also pick up the ldf file and let's click okay and then you should see your database restored here if you open up the tables you will find a lot of data that they provide you 
so let's select the top 1000 rows and you see that there is some inbuilt data to play with now this actually gives us some base work to play with data and we'll precisely use the same database and if you want to follow along with me go ahead and download this database and attach it to your local environment and then you can follow um, the queries along with me